Hello, hello and welcome. First of all, I just want to say a massive thank you for the positive feedback on the shorts videos that I did. To the likes and the subscribers, honestly, I greatly appreciate it. But here we are, here is the Minecraft tutorial. Excuse the animals, they're just random there. But anyway, here is the Minecraft tutorial of my survival build. So let me show you the materials we're working with today. So here we have our materials that we are using today. We have dark oak, we have normal oak, we've got spruce, cobblestone, and we also obviously have glass for the windows. If you need to take a second just to pause and make note of everything that we're using, please do. But with all that being said, Let's get to building, shall we? Here is the layout for you. So the large square is nine by nine. The uh, smaller square even, it's not even a square, it's a rectangle, but the smaller part of the house is seven by nine. The solid blue is three by three. That is where our chimney is going to go. And the outer part, the other blue area is four by seven. We'll start building in the large area first. So with the dark oak log, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then repeat this for all the corners. And now we will just go across and link all of them up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the smaller section, we're going to go up by four, so one, two, three, four, and again, same for all the corners. And again, just link them together. So what we'll do now in the main section of the house, we're just going to cover up the green line with cobblestone, so it's going to be a bit of a raised floor, and then in the middle we are just going to fill it all in with cobblestone for now. So for this section of the build, we're going to take out this green line and we're going to fill it with cobblestone and then we'll take out the rest of the grassy area and again fill with cobblestone for now. Back in the main section, we're going to use our spruce planks and for all the areas that you can see, we're just going to fill it in. Okay, so for the last wall of the main section, we're going to go across the top and then we're going to come down this side and again this side. For the rest of the bottom half, all we're going to do is fill in with spruce planks. Back up the top now, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five with our dark oak log and we'll do this for all the corners and link them. And then this section we have just built, we're going to take our normal oak and we're just going to fill in all the walls. We're going to start on the roof, so with our dark oak steps, we're going to go one there, one on the outside, and then all the way across till we reach the wall. Then what we're going to do is an upside down stair, and oh, normal stair, upside down, and another normal stair for the minute. Let's repeat the process on the other side. So one there, one there, and then again, all the way down until you reach the wall. Then we shall start again with the upside down stair, normal, upside down, normal. We'll repeat that until we are left with a block gap. 
So there we go, another upside down stair, normal stair, upside down and normal. And then we're going to do an upside down stair in the middle. We'll come round, do a normal stair, another upside down stair, and then we're going to use an oak plank. So it should look something like this. Let's use our dark oak planks and we're going to go across the middle. And then what we'll do once we've reached the wall, there we go, we will use our oak steps and fill it in. Now we've done that, let's use our oak, dark oak, sorry, slabs, and we're going to leave a gap. So one, and then place, leave a gap, place, leave a gap, place, leave a gap, place. And then we shall just use some dark oak trapdoors and fill in the gaps. Okay, so we're going to repeat the process, but basically on a larger scale. So again, just come across with the dark oak steps. Let me just pop one in that side. There we go. Just going to do this again on this side. So there we go. Just go across, all the way across. Remember to leave one as an overhang. There we go. And then we're going to go upside down stair, stair upside down stair, stair, upside down, there we go, and again, and then remember to leave a gap in the middle, one block gap, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Again in the middle we're going to do our upside down stair, then a another stair even, and then another upside down stair, and we're going to just pop a dark oak slab on top. There we go. Let's just repeat the same process on the other side. And again, same as before, go across the middle with the dark oak planks and then fill it in with the normal oak stairs. And again, same as before, we're going to go slab, 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 and slab and then our oak, dark oak, sorry, trapdoors. Now we're going to build our porch area. So we're going to go one, two, three inwards, but we're going to take these two out. And again, with our dark oak logs, take these two out. We're then going to go up one more, like so. And then in the middle, we're going to take out three to create our doorway. We're going to go along one, two, but take that one out and the same again, this side, one, two, so take that one out. In the middle with spruce slabs, we're going to go one, two, three, then same level again, one, two, three, and then down on the floor, we're going to go one, two, and three. We're then going to use a spruce stairs and just in the middle, we're going to do an upside down stair like so. We're then going to use our dark oak door and just place it like so. Coming back out, we're going to use our dark oak trap door and one in the middle there. Repeat on the other side, so one in the middle there. And then we're going to place them on top of the dark oak logs like so. Let's start on the outside working area. So we have our blue line. So we're going to come in one and take that out. And what we'll do is we'll take it all the way up. 
So we can see the dark oak log and go all the way along to just inside of the other blue line. Then what we're going to do is we are going to take out, so from the, let's see, so from the blue line where it is, we're going to take out the dark oak steps. And what we'll do is we, for now we shall, actually yeah, no, we'll, we'll replace them with dark oak planks. Then you're going to use your dark oak slabs and we're going to do one, two, three, four and five and repeat it on the other side and then we're going to come across in the middle to join them up. Then we're going to use our oak planks and just go across the middle like so, just filling in the space. Take out the green line, the blue line and the grass area and fill it with cobblestone. From here we are going to use our cobblestone wall, one, two, three, four, and then come one in five, and with our dark oak fence, like so. Then let's repeat it on this side, so one, two, three, four, and come in one five with our dark oak fence. We're going to create an archway now, so with the dark oak we're going to do an upside down stair here an upside down stair there and with the trap doors we're going to go one two three across the top one two put them down and again this side one two sorry there we go repeat the same process so again upside down stair here upside down stair here one two three trap door one one, there we go, and just the other side, one, two. Now I'm going to texture the flooring, so I'm going to use stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, and decide and stone for this. And then I'm going to replace this cobblestone and use a dark oak log and just pop the door back in. There we go. To create an easier way of getting down, I'm going to replace this one with a full block of any choice that you like. Full block again and then these three I'm just going to use some slabs of any choice that you like. I'm going to use the same blocks that I used before to texturise this part of the flooring also. I'm going to actually use gravel mainly to help texturise this section just because it's sort of a bit of an outside work area. So gravel, stone and andesite. Now I'm going to use stripped spruce log and stripped oak log to texturise the rest of the building. Now we're going to pop in some windows, so above the logs we're going to go one, two, pop in some glass, and again the other side, one, two, and pop in some glass. Don't forget to do the outer sections where the cobblestone is visible. Now we're going to start on the chimney, so in the middle of the back, in the middle of the back, in the middle at the back even, so one, and then we're going to go two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to place a stair, like so, so that's the tallest part of it. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, 
and another stair. Come round to this side and we're going to do the same again. One, two, three, four, five. Add a stair. Then we're going to come into the middle. One, two, three, four, uh, five. No, sorry, four. Leave it at four. One this side. Then we'll do one, two this side. One down here. Then use your stairs. So we're going to put one here and one round this side. Uh, one down here. Don't worry, we'll texturize it in a minute. And we'll put one there as well. Okay, now actually, what we'll do, we will put a half, a slab even. Then what you can do if you want to, we can pop a slab here, a slab here, there, there, and then round this side. It is entirely up to you how much you want to do of it. And now texturize. For the rest of the chimney, we're going to come in the middle, but we're going to go from the oak stair. So take this one out and take the oak, dark oak log as well. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four. I've also added another two blocks, so it makes six upwards. Pop a campfire on top, take your spruce trap doors, pop it all the way round like so. And then what you'll want to do is you'll want a bit of cobblestone wall to finish it off. Now the chimney is in place, I'm just going to pop in some windows on either side of the house upstairs like so. And come around here. Oh, I need to texturize this bit as well, but we're also going to pop in some windows. We'll do a window here and a window. We shall do it here. Now we can create the fireplace. So one, two, three in. So take those bits out and yeah, take those bits out as well. They're just markers. I'm going to take that bit out as well. And what we'll probably do actually to help build it up a bit more, let's take out, so this line, this line next to it, and this bit next to it as well. Let's go ahead and fill it in with stone block, some cracked stone brick, some stone brick, and a little bit of andesite as well. So let's fill that in quickly. Uh, there we go. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna use even sorry a campfire. Pop that in there like so. We're then going to across the top some full blocks again. There we go. Just to bring it out a bit up the top. We'll then use upside down stairs across like so there we go one more then we're going to use slabs just to create a little bit of a raised platform okay I'm going to take the middle step out I'm also going to take the one behind so the smoke goes up we'll take the campfire out as well come up a block like so and put a campfire in. Let's use our dark oak stairs and I'm standing on one but we're going to go one in then two, three, four and five so we can then get up to the next level and then underneath we're just going to use upside down stairs just to fill it in. There we go. With our dark oak planks, what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way across, but leaving a space where the stairs are. 
Then take your dark oak fence and we shall create a, a bit of a banner style if you like. Back downstairs we're going to take the same dark oak fencing and again create a bit of a banner style for the stairs. Like so. Just to create a bit more light in the place we're going to go four back from the middle of the fireplace. You will need a chain and you will need a lantern for this. We're just going to finish off the roofing upstairs so with your oak stripped log one two three and four the two middle ones need to go up to the ceiling or the roof if you like then we're going to use our dark nope not the planks we're going to use our dark oak stripped log to do exactly the same thing there we go two three in the middle to this side and then we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side I'm going to pop some lighting up here just because I'm going to close it off and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use dark oak logs and we're going to pop one Oh no, no we're not, we're going to pop it there and then we'll do a space between, go all the way across and then with dark oak slabs fill the rest in. Once that is done we are going to pop a chain and a lantern in the middle or as close to the middle as you can get for a bit of light upstairs. We're going to repeat the roofing process that we did upstairs so dark oak stripped log like so and then fill in with oak stripped log and repeat on the other side. Once that has been done, we are going to take our chain and our lantern again and as close to the middle as you can, we're going to do two chains, pop a lantern on, sorted. Now we have finished the build, so we are on to decorating. You can copy what I've done or you can do your own thing with it, but as you can see, I am just doing the bedroom at the moment. Then we're just going to pop some upside down stairs. I'm then going to use some trap doors as shelves, like so. And then I'm just going to pop a couple bits up. So I'll put a crafting table up there, a note block up there and a chest as well. Here I'm going to use the spruce signs to make it so it has like a draw effect. And then on top... I'm going to pop, I'm going to pop a helmet and I will also pop a crossbow. So just like they're there, they're ready to pick up. We'll pop another flower here as well. Then I'm going to pop a stand, put some armour on, we'll put some diamond armour on. The other side I'm going to put another stand and we'll put some iron armour on this one. I'm going to use the blocks just to give an outline as to where I want the paintings. Downstairs I'm going to have a little bit of seating area. I'm going to use an oak slab, oak trap doors to create like this high back chair. I'm going to do one this side as well. There we go. I'm then going to pop an oak fence in the middle and then a pressure plate on top of that to create a little bit of a, a small table. In the corner here, note block, crafting table, we'll pop a chest there and in this corner, note block, pot, remember to crouch, I'm going to use a bit of cactus, but you can also use the bamboo. In this corner I'm going to use a smoker so it acts as like an oven. Just pop a frame on top with a chicken. And then I'm also going to put a cauldron down, but I'm also going to put a tripwire as well. 
popped out like a sink. In the smaller section of the house, I'm going to create a bit of a work area, if you like. Okay, there we go. We use the full planks, upside down stairs, to create a good surface. Using the spruce signs again, so they act like drawers, or they look like drawers. I'm going to pop a couple of sea pickles on. Then going to put our saw up. There we go. Put some frames up and I'm going to put a couple of tools and possibly a sword. Yeah, we'll pop the sword in the middle. We're going to pop that in and an axe. Turn the sword around. Okay, but I'm going to put another frame and then also a shovel as well so he's working on it or they're working on it this side of the room yep we'll do that I'm going to put some chests for some storage then the oak dark oak trap doors oh I need to bring those two down so they're on the same level Then we shall just decorate it. So we've got our note block, our anvil, a lantern, and I'm also going to put another chest up there as well, like so. Out here in the other part of the work area, I'm going to put down a smithing table, a grindstone. I'm going to pop a, another stand here. We'll just put on some netherite armor and a netherite sword. So it's what we've been working on. And then we'll place a single lantern. Okay, so outside I am going to be popping down some fern, popping down some grass, I will put some flowers down as well. I'm also going to make a farming area, just to sort of make the whole place sustainable. So in my survival world, this is a completely different part to actually where the village is built. So everything is here that I need to be here, if that makes sense. But I'm just going to speed through this bit for now. And there we go. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas or suggestions for future builds, please leave me a comment down below. Or even if there's anything that you'd like me to give it a go, give it a go, give a go. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.